Hi, this is Jenny Whitman, and I'm going to show you how to use advanced Google Slides for engagement. First, I'm going to show you three websites that have a lot of templates for Google Slides. The first one is slidesgo.com. So I went to the um, education tab. You don't have to. There's lots of templates that aren't education related, but just lots of options here. You can also search at the top in the search bar for um, something specific if you're looking for something specific. I would like to point out that some of them have this little crown and that means they are for the premium plans so those are not free but the ones without the crowns are free. Also slidescarnival.com same idea. You can search for a certain topic or just scroll through the ones that they are they have on their main page and slidesmania also has lots of templates you can search by topic. In Slides Mania, if you go to the Education tab, they have uh, manipulatives, games, choice boards. The template's already made. You will just fill in the blanks. So here's an example of the games. So if you want to make flashcards, they already have the templates made for you. There's um, board games, any kind of true false. Like the boards are already created. You will just fill in the blanks. Makes it super easy to create. So I'm going to click on one to show you how to download it. So when you choose one, some of them have the options to change colors. So if you notice, like on this slide right here, that background is yellow. If you want it to be blue, you can click on the blue color. When you go to download, download this template, you'll choose the option you want. So we're going to make this a Google slide and it downloads it. Make a copy right into your drive. So it gives you lots of slides that you can delete. You can just change the wording of, you can move the pictures around. At the end of all of them, they have lots of little icons that you can use throughout yours. You can just copy and paste them. Little um, text boxes. So you can copy and paste anything and edit it how you want. One thing while you're doing your presentation, you can insert timers. So if you go to insert and then video right here, you can type in timer. And when you search for it, it gives you a lot of different options for timers. So you suggest select the one you want. Some of them have music. So when you select it, then you click select and it will insert it in. You can change the size of it, make it smaller, put it in the corner, move it around. It is completely editable. You can mute the audio if, this, if it has music. This one has music. You can start when it, you click or automatically when you get to that slide. So then if you have an activity in your Google Slides you want timed, when you get to that slide you just click on play. And now the students have a, in this case, 10 minute timer to complete the activity. You can also insert videos. Go to insert video just like you did the timer. And Let's insert a video. We can insert the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. And instead of having to clip, click have multiple tabs opened, you could just have this embedded right there in your presentation. You can um, have it start and stop at different times if you don't want to play the whole video. Same thing, you can play when you click on it. And when you get to that slide, you would just click play and it would play the video during your presentation. Down in the bottom right hand corner, there's an explore option where you can search for anything that you have in Google Drive or anything on the Internet. There's it'll take you right to a website. You can also get images. So if you insert one of the images onto your slide. Now, when you get to this slide, this picture will be here. But if you click on it and it gives you the link and it will take you to the website of whatever it was. And if you share this with your students, they could explore this website right from your Google slide. You also can hyperlink anything just like you do in any Google document. So you just highlight, you can go to insert hyperlink or control K and then paste a link that you have. If it's something in your Google Drive, you can um, paste it in there. If you want them to take it to a different slide within this presentation, you could do that. So when they click on the link, it will take them to a different slide. 
you can insert graphs and tables and charts. Let's say we want this type. So we have a bar graph here comparing two columns. This will take you to a Google Sheet where then you could change the data. So you could change the data to match whatever it is you want. And then in your Google Slides, it would project the correct bar graph or whichever graph you chose. Same thing is true with any sort of diagram. Um, lots of different options. They're all on the side if you want two, three, or four sections. And it will insert this, and then you can edit the words to match what you want them to say. So lots of templates already created, and you would just go in and edit the words. Some other options, there's a digital menu for students that you can find with Here's the menu where they would choose an entree, choose an appetizer, choose the beverage. Again, these are all links to different things within the Google Slides, complete with directions, much more entertaining than a very basic Google Slides presentation or uh, PowerPoint. Here's some of the board games that we've looked at. You can make choice boards, templates already created, or you would just change the activity to match whatever it is that you were teaching. So you could choose, they, you could have the students choose one from each column. And when they click on this, it would take them to the slide that they need. So here's where they would type in the answers. So when you're grading it, you would just go to this slide to see what the students had completed. There's also digital notebook options. If you'd like your students to create a digital notebook, templates already created, they would just make it their own. You would download it and share it with them and they could make it their own. Flashcards, drag and drop activities, where you could hide the um, answers underneath little boxes that they there would be a question. And then answers, they would drag the box over to see if they're correct. So it's a self-correcting and they could use this to study. You could have the students create their own questions also and then share this with each other. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.